Bug was a modest hit on the Sega Saturn. It was one of Sega's earliest attempts at 3D platforming, and while I prefer the gorgeous 2D artwork of a stall, or the tight 2.5D gameplay of Clockwork Knight, Bug was fun for its time and with a nice showcase of the Saturn's 3D capability. Well, our friends at Tiger obviously enjoyed Bug because they released an LCD game based on the Wise Guy insect. Prepare yourself, it's the Bug Pocket Arcade. So if you've seen my video on the Echo the Dolphin Pocket Arcade, you basically know what to expect. This is a typical Tiger LCD game with a Game Boy-esque form factor. The unit features a nice cover so you can slide it into your pocket without worry about scratching the screen or accidentally turning it on, a critical feature when you're smuggling this into class in elementary school. And considering this thing is now 22 years old and still going strong, it's obviously well constructed. On a side by side with my Echo the Dolphin Pocket Arcade, you quickly notice some design changes, some good and some bad. Thankfully, there are now proper directional buttons, not the finger twisting monstrosity from the Echo game. The buttons feel okay, and they're certainly good enough for the simple gameplay. Another change is the buttons on the side of the unit no longer release the screen cover. You have to manually lift it. I guess that's not really a bad thing, it just feels cheaper. But the big negative here is the screen size. Just look at the difference. Echo has a nice big screen with simple artwork that makes it easy to see and play. Bug, on the other hand, has more detailed art that is just too hard to see on this tiny screen. Bug looks like himself and you can recognize some of the enemies, but if you can't make them out during gameplay, what good are they? And as for gameplay, very little made the transition from Saturn to LCD. Bug's main draw was a 3D world that you could traverse in any direction, even walking vertically or upside down. That is completely lost here. Your goal is to walk to the right while defeating enemies and collecting items until you finally encounter the boss for each stage. Along the way, you can replenish your health with bug juice and bounce on mushrooms to gain height and perform a spin attack. Your other attacks consist of a dedicated button for spitting at enemies or pressing down during a jump to sting. So you have three different ways to attack. Pretty impressive, right? Well, unfortunately, none of them are terribly satisfying, and with the exception of some flying enemies, the spit attack is all you'll ever use. Also, I'm not certain if the left button is broken on my unit because it does absolutely nothing. In order to look left, you bizarrely have to press up, and walking to the left is impossible. Again, perhaps my unit is faulty, the gameplay is so bad that it's actually hard to tell. And as for boss battles, I don't even know. There are bosses, but all you have to do is stand on a mushroom and jump until they die. It feels like I'm missing something, but I don't think so. The gameplay, if you can even call it that, is just that simple. There are so many things wrong with the Bug Pocket Arcade that it's hard to know where to begin. The sound is painful, the gameplay is bad, the art on the LCD is nice, but the screen is just too small. These Tiger LCD games are always kind of hit or miss, and this one is a definite miss. Stay away from this one. The Bug Pocket Arcade is for serious collectors only.